Okay, welcome to the Epic of Gilgamesh Tablet 4. Ankudu and Gilgamesh are on a mission to go kill Humbaba. It's a bad idea, but they're going to do it anyway. And here we go. At 20 leagues, they broke bread. At 30 leagues, they pitched camp. 50 leagues they traveled in the course of a day. By the third day, a march of a month and a half, they drew near to Mount Lebanon. <laughs> So in one day, they travel a, a journey that takes a month and a half because, you know, they're, they're in Iraq, they're in a rook, and they have to get all the way to Lebanon by the Mediterranean Sea. It's a, that's a long journey. Now you could, you know, if there weren't, like, a war there, uh, you could make that drive in, like, maybe 10 hours, maybe t 10 or 12 hours. Uh, but <laughs> for them, it's, uh, it's a month and a half a day. I don't think that's true. I think you could probably do that in a month and a half. I don't know. Anyway, they're going to Lebanon because Lebanon is famous for its cedars. Famous for its cedars. They're going to cut down the cedars! At 20 leagues they broke bread. At 30 leagues they pitched camp. 50 leagues they traveled in the course of a day. By the third day, a march of a month and a half. Nearer they drew to Mount Lebanon. Facing the sun, they dug a well. They put fresh water in. Gilgamesh climbed to the top of the mountain. To the hill he poured out an offering of flour. O oh, mountain, give me a dream so that I see a good sign. So this is why it takes so long, because they're doing all these rituals, right? They're, Gilgamesh climbs up to a mountain, offers an offering, uh, give me a dream. You know, this is a, a common story, you know. Moses walks up the mountain, and uh, God gives him all these commandments. A lot of them are how to do offerings, like like a good two-thirds of them are how to do offerings to God, actually. Um, so, you know, very ancient Mesopotamian theme, atop the mountain offering oblations to a god. Facing the sun, they dug a well. They put fresh water in. Gilgamesh climbed to the top of the mountain. To the hill, he poured out an offering of flour. O oh, mountain, bring me a dream so I see a good sign. Ankudu, gave, Ankudu made for Gilgamesh a house of the dream god. He fixed a door in its doorway to keep out the weather. In the circle he had drawn, he made him lie down, falling flat like a net lay himself in the doorway. Wow. So Ankudu builds this little hut, a hut for the dream god to come in. And in the center of the hut, he draws a circle. And Gilgamesh sleeps inside the circle to be visited by the dream god. Meanwhile, Ankudu sleeps in the doorway to protect him from any intruders. That's, that's quite a friend right there. <laughs> to make you a dream god hut on the top of a mountain, Pretty, pretty special. <laughs> Just gonna say, pretty special. Ankudu made Gilgamesh a house of the dream god. He fixed a door in its doorway to keep out the weather. In the circle he had drawn, he made him lie down, and falling flat like a net lay himself in the doorway. He is like a net to catch the bad things. Gilgamesh rested his chin on his knees. Sleep fell upon him. That spills over people. In the middle of the night, he reached his sleep's end. He rose and spoke to his friend. He's had a vision. My friend, did you not call me? Why have I awakened? Did you not touch me? Why am I startled? Did a god not pass by? Why is my, fresh, why is my flesh frozen and numb? My friend, I have had the first dream. The dream that I had was an utter confusion. In a mountain valley, the mountain fell do down. The, in the mountain valley, the mountain fell down on top of. Then we, like the one born in the wild, knew how to give counsel. Ankudu spoke to his friend, gave his dream meaning. My friend, your dream is a good omen. The dream is precious and bodes us well. My friend, the mountain you saw could not be Humbaba. We shall capture Humbaba. Him we shall slay. We shall cast down his corpse on the field of battle, and next morning we shall see good sign from the sun god. So we missed, we missed the content of that first dream, uh, because, you know, these tablets were made of lapis lazuli, and lapis lazuli breaks down when it's 5,000 years old, so we don't have the full content of the thing. Um, 
So we missed the content of the dream and had something to do with a mountain and Gilgamesh being scared. And Ankadu's like, no, 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 no. That mountain you saw could not have been Humbaba. We shall capture Humbaba. Him we shall slay. We shall cast down his corpse on the field of battle. And next morning, we shall see a good sign from the sun god. Right? Ankadu's like, very reassuring. Your dream wasn't a bad omen. It's just, it's great. We're going to kill him. It's going to be wonderful. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> so, let's repeat. We're going to repeat this theme. So I've, I've done, I've basically done the tablet for you, but we're going to do it five more times. Um, at 20 leagues, they broke bread. At 30, <laughs> at 20 leagues, they broke bread. At 30 leagues, they pitched camp. 50 leagues, they traveled in the course of a day. By the third day, a march of a month and a half nearer, they drew to Mount Lebanon. At 20 leagues, they broke bread. Facing the sun, they dug a well. They put fresh, fresh water in. Gilgamesh climbed to the top of the mountain. To the hill, he poured out an offering of flour. O mountain, bring me a dream so I see a good sign. Ankadu made for Gilgamesh a house of the dream god. He fixed a door in its doorway to keep out the weather. In a circle he had drawn, he made him lie down, and falling flat like a net, lay himself in the doorway. Gilgamesh rested his chin on his knees. Sleep fell upon him that spills over people. In the middle of the night he reached his sleep's end. He rose and spoke to his friend. My friend, did you not call me? Why have I awakened? Did you not touch me? Why am I startled? Did a god not pass by? Why is my flesh frozen numb? My friend, I have had a second dream. A note from our translator. Gilgamesh's relation of his second dream has not survived in Tablet 4, but the gap can be filled by a paraphrase from an earlier version of the epic which comes from the Hittite capital Hattusa and dates to the Middle Babylonian period. Alright, here we go. Thanks for that comment. My second dream surpasses the first. In my dream, my friend, a mountain, it threw me down. It held me by my feet. The brightness grew more intense. A man appeared, the comeliest in the land, his beauty. From beneath the mountain he pulled me out, and he gave me water to drink. My heart grew calm. On the ground he set my feet. Ankudu spoke to him, saying to Gilgamesh, My friend, we shall... He is different altogether. Humbaba is not the mountain. He is different altogether. Come, cast aside your fear. The text of Tablet 4 resumes. Oh, well... We're going to be doing another repetition. So I'm going to pause here. Uh, I think I'll end this video here and I'll do another repetition in the next video very momentarily. But what do you think about repetition? So I've just read the same thing to you twice, literally. Um, what is the purpose of the creators of Epic of Gilgamesh? Why did they do that? Um, you know, certainly part of why they did that was that this was an oral thing. It was originally oral. And so this was how you memorize something is by repeating and repeating and repeating. Uh, I think it also gives a sense of time. You know, they're traveling, and every day they climb up the mountain, they give the offering of flour, and then they make the hut, and they draw the circle, and Gilgamesh falls asleep, and he has a big dream, and he's really terrified of Humbaba, and Ankadu says, no, 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 it's okay. And so you get this, this feeling of time passing by repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And there's, there's much more to that, and so we're going to do a few more repetitions. Uh, but just in the comments of this video, video some, some initial thoughts about the value of repetition in uh, epic poetry. I'm curious what you think, so tell me. Okay, I'll see you in over there in a bit. All right, let's go. Okay, bye.